How's it going guys, this is Zeta here. So we got some very, very interesting and leaked information related to PlayStation 5 Pro. I want to read out this little article from the Insider Gaming, coming from Tom Henderson himself and regarding of this leak. So it seems like this is a real deal. This information is coming from Moore's Law is Dead on YouTube channel. If you want to, you can check him out. And also I have uh, left a link to his video in the description relating what he goes through these leak and the specs related to the PlayStation 5 Pro. So by the article's name on the Insider Gaming, PS5 Pro specs leak are real, releasing a holiday of 2024. Insider Gaming can confirm that the leaked PlayStation 5 Pro specs leaked earlier today are real and the PS5 is still tentatively targeting a 2024 holiday release. Speaking with uh, sources who wishes to remain anonymous because they were not authorized to talk about the company's plans, we can confirm that the leaked documentation from the YouTube channel Moore's Law is Dead is real despite the criticism of the leaker and the leaked specs. Insider Gaming can confirm that the documentation leaked is from the PlayStation Developer Portal, which was sent out this week to a wider brand of third-party developers. In early 2023, Tom reported via Key to Gaming that the PlayStation 5 Pro is under the code named Trinity and will be targeting improved and consistent FPS at 4K resolution, a new performance mode for 8K resolution and accelerated ray tracing. In addition, it was reported that Trinity will have 30 WGP and 18,000 MTS memory. So today's leaked documents also confirm. And in bullet points, there's a mention. Rendering 45% faster than the PS5, two to three times ray tracing, even four times in some cases, 33.5 teraflops, PSSR, PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution Upscaling, upscaling and anti-aliasing solution. Support for the resolution up to 8K is planned for future SDK version. Custom machine learning architecture, AI accelerator supporting 300 tops of 8-bit computation, 67 teraflops of 16-bit floating point. Inside of Gaming, who once also shared documentation from the developer portal under the condition that it's not shared publicly or privately, can also confirm that dev kits have been available to first-party studios since September 2023, third-party since January 2024, and from spring 2024 test kits will also be available which will be identical to the final product. Insider Gaming understands that PS5 Pro is currently aiming for the 10th of a holiday 2024 release, but the date could be changed due to the lack of the first party games released on the PlayStation 5 this year. It is really unfortunate that it seems like we will not be getting any sort of uh, first party title games and instead seems like we're gonna have to wait till the very earliest of April of 2025 to see something at least. But it's not, it's not to say that there's just not going to be anything for the PlayStation 5 Pro. But at least we will have like maybe a showcase, maybe sometime in May, June, perhaps sometime maybe in some ways September even, who knows. And perhaps that there will be some announcements made so it will excite people to pick up a new console, PlayStation 5 Pro. But again, not like having a released console like on holiday of 2024 and yet just not having any big titles like accompanying it, that's actually a very big deal and unfortunately, it's still kind of a decision that perhaps Sony PlayStation should make that maybe they'll have to delay it instead. And But I don't think it's also a clever idea because Nintendo Switch also is going to be releasing their hardware at the early of 2025. So accompanying that, I don't think it's a good idea also. In terms of the specs as well, unfortunately, I am not like like a techie, if, that may, if that's the right word saying it, basically. I'm not really like fully in full of an understanding of what's going on here, how much of an improvement it genuinely is. But it still is awesome to see for like so many improvements that's been done for this PlayStation 5 Pro. This means also that all your games that are unlocked in terms of the frame rate that are playable and also like maybe you only reach like 40 FPS, for example, with the rumored 
well, I don't know if it's rumored, but there's problems like Rise of the Ronin, Dragon's Dogma 2, and they're only capable of reaching like maybe 40 FPS, but they have an uncapped frame rate. So due to the PlayStation 5 Pro uh, capabilities and far more powerful hardware, this means that you will be able to play these games at the very minimum of 60 FPS. So that's genuinely fantastic news. In fact, matter of fact, I'm kind of like considering, should I just wait? You know what I mean? Like wait when these games and just get these games during the PlayStation 5 Pro's release as well and play these games in the best possible performance. <laughs> uh, it kind of makes it interesting as well how much of an improvement this will be that first party games, for example, like Spider-Man 2, that will actually get a patch or an update and unlock something, right? Maybe uh, so that they actually will be able to pull off and have even far, far better uh, frame rate, uh, have better resolution or some things that are unfortunately bottleneck now due to the performance and the hardware limitations of the PlayStation 5 original console. But now with the PlayStation 5 Pro, a lot of things like, for example, I was done for the uh, PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 4 Pro with the checkerboarding uh, situation. It's still going to be interesting to see how much or how much of an improvement will the developers able to have in terms of the exploration of of improving their games and even the games i'm talking about that have already released for the playstation 5 and because of this uh, implementation of the playstation 5 pro with the improvements of everything how much will there be an increase of the existing games that the developers will be able to have no limits of any longer it's i don't know i personally looking at it it doesn't seem like it's going to be like a giant step comparing to this like you know playstation 4 to playstation 5 but yet again, with the technology and how everything is going, it's unfortunately not as a significant boost as you would have expected to see, like I mentioned, Pleasure 4 to Pleasure 5, because the 4K upgrade every other uh, console's having it now, and of course the TVs as well, right? Back then, like 2013, uh, 1080p quality screens were a norm. Now it's a 4K, you know, TVs are a norm. Pleasure 4 Pro made sense to have existence of it, right? With the 4K capabilities. PlayStation 4 could never do that, but PlayStation 4 Pro did. But then PlayStation 5 came out that only solidified it, being like a 60 FPS, 4K, no issues, maybe a little, little bit even future proving the capabilities of 20, uh, 120 FPS uh, possibilities, maybe even in some cases 8K. But now with the PlayStation 5 Pro, what is it that they're trying to secure under future? See what I mean? Uh, but yet, in additional four extra years, 2028, presumably with the release of the PlayStation 6, what is there going to be a step up that we should be expecting after an additional four years? Is the 8K going to be the norm? I'm kind of doubting it, to be honest with you. I am really am doubting that. And also, 120 FPS, is that going to be the next norm? Sure, now they're concentrating, as you saw here, with the ray tracing improvements two to three times, maybe in some cases even four times better. And some AI, uh, you know, for example, that I mentioned, PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution Upscaling, okay that's awesome like i'll have to see for myself to to tell you if it's actually going to be worth it or not everything that we heard here sounds fantastic it genuinely does but i'm not too sure how much we can actually expect from it as well so make that kind of makes things interesting anyway guys that's all i wanted to mention regarding the specs and the details regarding uh, of, uh, uh, the playstation 5 pro still is nevertheless a pretty damn exciting thank you so much for watching like and subscribe i'll see you guys all and have a wonderful day